Okay, Wayne, this next part is called Four Star and Up, where we want to find out the best things and why. Number one, what manager got the best out of you and how? Um, Alex Ferguson, I think. Um, probably how strong he was on me. Um, and demanding of me he was, um, so I think Alex Ferguson. Beautiful. Uh, what fixture did you always look forward to the most and why? Liverpool. Um, I look forward to it for good reasons and bad reasons. I remember Alex Ferguson always used to tell you before, during and after them games, do not get sent off, Wayne. <laughs> do not get sent off, just keep it under control, all right? I remember him saying that all the time. We see you singing Last Request in the film. What is your favourite song and why? My favourite song? Ooh. Beatles Come Together. Ah, nice, classic. I think it's an iconic song, it's a classic song and obviously um, it's done by Scousers. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> um, right, okay, the most important asset to have on the pitch and why? I think it's, uh, you can look at it in, in different ways, but I'd probably say mentality, having a strong mentality on the pitch because there's times when things go wrong, there's times you make mistakes and um, it's how you get over them mistakes and having that mentality to put them right. So I'd say having a, a really strong mentality. I'd say that is probably why you went on to do what you did was honestly, mate, your aggression, your anger and then just dealing with stuff relentlessly was incredible. Like, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it, mate. <laughs> OK, the favourite away ground to score in? I'd say White Hart Lane. Scored a few goals there. The old school White Hart Lane? Yeah. The old school Tottenham yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. I, scored, I actually scored the last goal um, before the stadium closed down. Um, even in the Youth Cup, I scored a, one of my best ever goals there. And, I really enjoy playing now. Who was your toughest opponent you played against? John Terry. Oh. He was strong, he was um, good in the air. He put himself, he went the quickest, but he put himself in, in very good positions. Aggressive, um, so I'd say John Terry. The player who impacted your career the most? I'm not sure, there's a few. There's a few players who I love playing with, or there's a few players who I love being in their company. Um, whether that's on the pitch, off the pitch. Yeah, it's a tough one. I'd probably say the one who was, I spoke to most was Dan Fletcher. On the pitch, we spoke about our game on the pitch a lot together. Um, but off the pitch, we spoke about um, small things and um, different things, personal things off the pitch, which um, I'd say we, we had a very good connection. He was um, he was very calm, Fletch, wasn't he? I think that's that was the beauty of Fletch. He was so, so calm with absolutely everything he did. And I, I, I know for a fact, back in the day, that would, have, that would have had a wicked effect on you as well. Yeah, he also had an angry streak in him as well, though. So <laughs> uh, if, if he lost it, he could lose it. So. But yeah, no, I think we had a good connection. Greatest album of all time. Do you know what? I, it might be controversial and I'm sure you'll connect with it around your era. It's probably Craig David, Born to Do It. Banger, mate. Yes, all over that. I, I think I would say that as well. <laughs> or the Dr. Dre album, 2000 and whatever it is. 2001. I'm all over it, mate. Brilliant. Wayne, top man, mate. Really Cheers, enjoyed ben. that. Thank Cheers, you for joining mate. us. Take care.